Good morning. I have the back. Here's the plan. Tile shopping. We need to go and try and find tiles to use in the hallways today. Uh, I said yesterday that's probably one of the things they want to work on next. No windows today, but there are some new things going on. And one of them is floor tiling in bathrooms. What could possibly go wrong? We'll start today with dirt. Manny is back in his happy place. Back in the diggerator, which Oliver yesterday spent countless hours trying to fix again. But it's done, it's working, and Manny's now working on backfill all around this area, around the pool at the back of the house. Uh, I'm not sure how much more he needs to build up. Quite a bit, I think. Mr. Ronell, ah, plumber, is back on, well, plumbing, uh, down on the north side of the house, working again on this, this uh, trench where a lot of the piping goes for well, various different things. Inside the gym and spa, Helvin is trying to get this area of mud and tape finished. I'm pretty sure he'll finish that today. We're over by the north perimeter wall, Bapa Jess, with lots of cables. This is where the uh, utilities and everything will come into the property on a post here, I believe. So lots more connections to be made to this point of the land. Sing Enrico, assisted by Shai Ives, are working on forms to prepare the slab for the top of this septic tank. Don't know whether that will get poured today, but they're getting ready for it. Out the front of the house, outside on the wall of the kitchen, original Rico is preparing a channel for drainage coming from above, from the balcony over at Sabrina's bedroom. In the master bathroom, more preparation for tiling on that wall at the end where the shower will be. So there's all of that wall to do and still a little bit uh, in that corner. And of course then waterproofing the floor and then those bottom tiles all the way around after the waterproofing. Alex's bathroom. Uh, it looks to me like there's just a little bit of preparation here, a bit of clean up before waterproofing the floor. George's bathroom. Uh, still this little area in this corner, which has not yet had tiles. Everything else, all the other tiles in here are done. Something new. Here in Sabrina's bathroom, we're getting floor tiles going in. So they are uh, basically a, a plain cream, almost white. Uh, hopefully that will look good in this particular room with these particular wall tiles. I think it will. And lastly, in Jack's bathroom, the bottom level of tiles going in here now that the waterproofing of the floor has been completed. Our builder is back on site and once again the two real bosses are in discussions about who knows what, everything to do with the house. Here we are once again at CW Home Depot, Depot. So we're in central Luzon in Pampanga province. This seems to be our kind of go-to place for things so far in the house. And here we go, looking for tiles. Oh, what joy. We'll come back when we've got some ideas that we might show you. First order of business, we want to see if we can pick up the shower unit 
that we've got for the master bathroom because it will require a little bit of extra plumbing so we need to try and get that back so that the plumber at the house can deal with whatever water pipe is required so let's see if they have it well i think this would be my beautiful as hours first choice but no stock so we can't at the moment find a decent alternative here i think we're going to try and head over to wilcon which is pretty close by and see if we can find something similar that is in stock this is the shower that we've previously uh, ordered and paid for uh, so this is what we're going to be picking up today it seems like they do have our one in stock so it's a, it's a little bit fancier than in any of the other bathrooms with the extra kind of jets and controls the other ones will be much more simple than this well while we're here still at cw we're looking for tiles for the downstairs bathrooms uh, two of those to deal with Is it two i think it's two so it looks like maybe this one for the floor this one for the walls but then possibly with this as a highlight in the wall so it's kind of those three together i think that looks all right okay this is the next possibility for the floor of those bathrooms so that's those two tiles together personally i think that's better but either one that'll be all right we'll see what the boss says so helping us at the moment we've got ronald i just said to ronald i guess you have to be very patient in this job and he just smiled. Okay, I think we're there. So, downstairs bathrooms. Floor. Wall. And then a kind of a highlight part. Up here. I don't know, a third of the way, two thirds of the way up the wall or something. I think that all works together quite well. By the way, this is Roman, who helped us out when we first came in here. And Roman tells me he has been watching the episodes. Yes, sir. So, what a top fella. A very, very helpful guy. Thanks, Roman. So, we're back in Angler City. Uh, at Wilcon. Trying again for those tiles for the hallways. Let's see if we have any better luck this time. It is a pretty substantial selection here. They've got a pretty big area for tiles right down quite a long way beyond where that little clique of guys in green are is a clique an is or an r clique is a clique is so and then all the way over to the corner way back there so lots to choose from that doesn't mean we're going to be successful but we'll have a go well the answer is no nothing that we're happy with moving on Right, just around the corner from Wilcon, we're here. This music may get rejected by YouTube, but we're at Builders Warehouse, still in Daul, uh, on the edge of Anglers. Well, this is Inside Builders World. Nowhere near as big a selection. And Strike Three. Not sure we're quite out yet, but nothing in here. Very few of the larger size tiles in here. Moving on. It's 4.30 and we're home again. Uh, we got back about 3.30 and 15 minutes later the heavens opened and we had a pretty heavy downpour. And for a little bit I was watching how the water was flowing uh, from the upstairs downspouts. I couldn't see the base of the downstairs downspouts. But what I could see was that the downspout uh, on the left not the one right in the left hand corner but the next one along just next to the balcony that had by far the greatest amount of water coming out that was all fine there was nothing overflowing the gutter down further down and i just had a quick look there is no sign that the catch basin to the left or any of the others 
have overflowed. So it is by no means a scientific experiment and it was a relatively short shower. But on that mini test, I think the drainage from the roof looks like it's okay for now. But I think we'd have to wait to a much more prolonged downpour before we could draw any real conclusions from this. The shopping trip, yeah, well, a bit of a bust as far as uh, hallway tiles were concerned, uh, but we did identify uh, the tiles for the bathrooms downstairs, so not a complete waste of time, but I'm pretty sure that means we've got to head out again tomorrow and try and find some more places, because we're getting pretty desperate now that we need those hallway tiles, so could be another shopping trip tomorrow. But let's go and have a look and see what's been going on while we were away. Septic tank number two is getting ready for its lid. Uh, and they have, this time, left a space for a manhole cover. So we do have access if it, hopefully never, but uh, might at some point in the future become necessary. So, a lot of progress getting the forms in place and rebar on top, getting ready to pour. Well, not quite yet, but getting close. In the spa area, the platform is still here. To my very untrained eye, I think there's still a little bit more skin coat needs to be applied over here. So we'll have to check in tomorrow morning and see if Helvin is back in the same spot. Inside the master bathroom, we've now got most of the tiles in place except at the bottom, on three walls. In fact, we've got all the tiles on three walls, except those low ones. And they've made a start just here. Now, this is where the shower will be. So we have brought back the shower unit. Uh, I did warn them this morning, a little bit of extra plumbing would be required for some extra jets on those showers. So we'll hand that over first thing, and they can work that all out. This is the entrance to Alex's bathroom. And I think the waterproofing on the floor is new. All the tiles inside, except again, the lower ones, they're all done. This is the entrance to George's room. And there is a bit of confusion out there, I know. George and Aldrian are one and the same. George is just a nickname. Uh, very, very common in the Philippines to have nicknames. Uh, but this is Aldrian, so he's one of the four children that we have and we have rooms for. Well, that we have, period. They all have rooms. Uh, we'll have a quick look inside his bathroom. It is very dark in there. I don't think there's been any more work done in here today. All of the walls are done and with the exception still of down low over here behind the cabinet and one here in the corner that was where we were yesterday so i don't think anybody was doing anything in here not even waterproofing today in jack's bathroom the lower level tiles now done all the way along the right all the way at the front halfway along the left and just to my left on the left hand side of the door not done yet in sabrina's bathroom they've done most of the floor tiling including a rather complicated bit over where the drain will be or at least one of the drains i think that's yes that's the only one the drain where the shower is so I assume that took a little bit of time. It looks rather artistic. But uh, still not quite finished here at the door or underneath the cabinet. And still a couple of tiles missing again in this corner and in that corner for the low down tiling. I'm not quite there yet. Upstairs there on Sabrina's balcony I think that formwork is all new so presumably they're getting ready to pour that base or the curb as it was identified recently uh, onto which the glass 
balcony wall will be attached. So that's it. The rain's getting harder. I've got to finish this up quick.